The law says it. What's that about John Malone? Well, the law says it. Uh, we're familiar with it at the moment because the law says quite a lot of things at the moment. And uh, one of the things that uh, they seem to be saying to me is the unwanted. If you like to throw away society. Okay. Um, for example, the gender uh, agenda. You're a male and you want to be a female. Uh, put on a dress and a wig. You were then a female. The female wants to be male. How about a hairy trousers and a short hair? And how about boots? Try and grow a beard uh, or a moustache or put on something that looks like a beard even if it's false. Hobnail boots would be very useful to indicate that you're that, 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 that you you're a female but you want to be a male. The law says it. Say you're in a classroom and boys and girls are in the classroom. But the boys want to be girls and the girls want to be boys. And the teacher is a male, wants to be a female one part of the day and the male the next part of the day and something else in between, some other gender. So who are you today? Now, that is the likely outcome of the gender, the, the gender uh, agenda uh, that has uh, taken root in various countries and is promoted very much by governments, and particularly the new government of the United States, and promoted here. Don't forget, uh, uh, we, we had uh, a referendum uh, for to say uh, two men and two women could get married, but I presume one of them has to make out that it's, 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 it's a, uh, in the two men a female, and the other one, the two women, one of them has to make out to be a male. And uh, because otherwise, I don't think, I think the, the law still says there has to be a man and a woman. So uh, this is the sort of uh, situation. Uh, but they managed to hoodwink the people in this country to vote for such stuff. And then, um, so uh, we're, we're talking about the gender, we're, we're, we're dealing with that. So, and say you're on a ship and the above is the norm. You're in a storm. Who can, do, who can you depend on? If half the crew wants to be female and half the crew wants to be male, this female, uh, the, the gender. That is the, that is the potential outcome of the gender ideology. Uh, that uh, no, one will, no one will be what they appear to be. They want to be something different. And I want to introduce this for four and five year olds in the school. And now apparently a lot of people in some countries are confused about who they are. So that's what happens when the secular agenda gets a grip on things. There is no respite from what they might come out with. Uh, they've come out with, with uh, abortion, which is the killing of innocent uh, people before they were born and making it the law, it's the law. And uh, they've uh, brought in this gender ideology, ideology. And, uh, and, and where is that going to end? And in, in the States, which is probably going to happen here in other countries, uh, they're making out uh, an Equality Act, probably copying the marriage equality that they had here, which turned out to be not so much marriage equality has turned out to be same-sex marriage, uh, and that they want um, uh, no discrimination against people that 
want to be female or male and that they can use the cloak rooms and all the rest of it and it's causing terrible trouble in that country. This is only since this new administration come in and the equality is, is, is a broad spectrum uh, that can confuse people but the information is going out now that it's actually a diabolical act. And it's a strange affair in that country uh, that uh, Chief Justice um, Coney Barrett, uh, who was a practicing Catholic with five children or six, one or two of them adopted, uh, she was put through the ringer because of her Catholic faith as if, as if it was a, a, a debarment. It was it debarred her from, from office. And yet, the new president of that country professes to be a Catholic, goes out of his way to talk about it, and yet implements policies that are quite divisive and going to in, in, interfere with the, with the, with the practice of, of, of religion by not just Catholics, but all Catholics, or all Christians, and people that, that don't want to be, have to be indoctrinated. So uh, there's a very, there's a dangerous trend. The secular crowd doesn't want to, to, to ease off. You do one thing and to keep moving it. In this country, there's a possibility now that uh, we'll be saddled with euthanasia and assisted suicide. Uh, more killing, more and more than because people, as they may be suffering from something and have no faith or not, nothing that they believe in, might choose these paths as they have done in other countries and it expands. So the relatives then can look for a person to be euthanized against their will. And likewise, the assisted suicide. Uh, and handicapped people. Handicapped people now are at great risk. And apparently in the UK, if they're, if they're in hospital, they're not supposed to be treated. So this is, this is what happens when they embark on the evil that they have embarked on. Uh, there's no limit. This is why I'm saying it's the law. And this is what will be told and be portrayed as being progressive when it's quite the reverse. It's going back to the barbaric age. So this is uh, my theory about um, about uh, it's the law. Uh, th there has to be room for the spiritual development of human beings and they're interfering with that. And our bishops in this country, I pray for the for, for, for a spiritual awakening in their in, in their body, in their hearts and souls, to speak out, because they've become silent, and are implementing policies along the lines of the secular government. Thank you very much, Sean. Thank you very much, Oliver. So I.